let me do my job and let them do their job. <laughs> but whatever I have, I share with the vulnerable. Service delivery is on the shoulder of the president and his team. And we have been told that when you are a strong person and um, you are very fast in executing the agenda that God has given you, also be ready to, de to go. A dark cloud today covered the skies in Lango, something believed to signify death of an important person. Shortly, news came in indicating that a senior legislator representing the women of Doklo had died. <laughs> As it is always the norm at her house in Russian quarters, Lira City relatives and friends gathered in somber mood to mourn her. But I wish everybody um, good health. Reports indicate she has been ill for about two weeks, but many say they do not know about the sickness. It caught us all unaware, and even the weather in Lira seems to suggest that uh, what has happened. It's a terrible tragedy. When she was in Kampala, she was a legislator. But when she's here, she's a mother, she's a sister, she's a daughter, and she's a housewife. <laughs> Commonly referred to as a tat in Lango, Atim Mogwal was the Doklo District Woman Member of Parliament, although she has been continuously a member of Uganda's legislature since 1996. Honorable Joy Atim Mongwam, who served with Ogwal in the 9th and 10th Parliament, described her as an encyclopedia from which most politicians learned politics. And if uh, the house was derailing, she could stand up from her chair. The rule provides that you stand up and you catch the eye of the speaker. But for her, she would stand from her chair and move straight to the microphone. And if anybody's holding the microphone, you just leave way for her. That's the respect she earned and she would guide the house. Meanwhile, former chairperson Human Rights Commission, Joel Aliro Mara described the late as a glue to UPC party after Bote was overthrown. She held it together. And that evidence became clear when after the fall of the UPC government, she remained in Uganda House and tried to hold the party together. And eventually when she left, we began to see the collapse of the party. Let us continue to pray. Cecilia Wall, now the late hailed from Ogora clan, one of the most blessed clans in Lango. At the time of her death, the clan was destined to enthrone the sixth clan chief, an event she greatly contributed to. So this was her own function. So that is still difficult to answer, but uh, as a clan, before the end of the day, close of the day, we shall come up with a position. Ogwal has been representing the women of Dokolo district under the FDC ticket. At the time of her death, she was serving as a member of the Parliamentary Committee on Physical Infrastructure in charge of overseeing and covering policy matters relating to land, housing, urban development, works and transport, and physical planning. Ogwal was announced dead today from a hospital in India. At her resident in Lira City, meetings are ongoing to prepare for her descent send off. So several uh, resolutions have been made. The, the organizing committee has been set. 